For those of you just joining us right now, this is the Illis Lines live listen with St. Jones. We're going to be going over his new album, The Psalm 7. We'll be ready in about uh, another five minutes. But in the meantime, if you could do me a favor and share this link right here, share this live out so that we can get some people on. You can enjoy yourself, listen to some music. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the songs that's on there as well as uh, his journey to the Psalm 7. And, you know, he's going to do a couple of giveaways, so I'll let him be uh, uh, the deliverer of that message there so he can give you all the specifics. Stay tuned. It was live. Yo, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, in there like swimwear. Hey man, share this, y'all. Invite people. It's like Facebook is so weird, man. Like it makes it hard to really get it to people. But uh, yeah. let's tap in. Yeah, especially we're giving out some free garments too, man. Listen. Yeah, yeah. Show, show, show them something. <laughs> we're giving out the uh, baby blue joint with the hat to match, though. Oh, not man. with the hat to match. So, shipping included. Like you ain't even got to pay for shipping. I'm just gonna, you just gonna get what? it. But you gotta be in the live and you gotta share it. And you gotta, yes. you gotta share it. You gotta, you gotta participate. I ain't giving it to nobody who's just gonna pop in and dip out. You got, you gotta be with us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. We don't want to see the eyes just All like right. this. <laughs> and I, uh, there's a pink one, a pink and black one, just like that. I got in uh, nice. large. And uh, extra large, and then I'm giving away more, a couple of exclusive shirts that ain't even on the site no more. Uh -huh. This is a medium right here, the, the lion and lamb shirt. Nice. Crispy. Crispy. And also the uh, Pledge of Allegiance to Yeshua. This is literally like the first batch of S2G shirts that was ever made. So nice. it's like, this is exclusive right. stuff, man. You know right. what I'm saying? It's going to be worth some, worth some money on eBay in about yeah, 10 years. Right. You know I mean? <laughs> That's right. And then also the, the black. I got this in large, extra large, 2X, and also medium. Cool. Today. <clears throat> Awesome. So we, we're going to repeat that later on, but for everyone that's watching right now, do me a favor, click share, share it to your profile, tag some people if you want to tag them. Uh, also, make sure that you comment in the section and put shared, uh, something that lets us know that you did that. Because sometimes, you know, again, you know, not, not trying to clown Facebook, but hey, it is what it is. Sometimes it will only say two shares, three shares, 15 shares, and it won't say specifically who did it. So we want to make sure that whoever right. he picks that's going to get this uh, uh these t-shirts these free 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 99 t-shirts that they know where they going shipping included shipping included shipping included come on now you can't yeah. beat that with a bag and we just about the fellowship man have a good time you know what yeah man? most definitely have a good time in the lord um uh, yeah i wish it won't even let me like it won't even let me invite people the way a regular live would. Yeah, no kidding. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Sure. right. Yeah. Crazy, but it's all good. You know what so I'm gonna, gonna do? Be... I'm gonna share it and try to tag some people. All right, all right. So it's gonna be two two people basically, two names, right? As far as the giveaway? Yes, sir. No, nah, we're going to do three. Three? All right. Maybe even so four. That's three or four names. All right. To get your name picked. We can get, we can get that many people up in this room. All right. See. Okay. Let me see if I can share this like this. Here we go. Uh... Greetings, Olandis. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that. Appreciate you, Olandis. Uh, Reggie. Thank you for the slip correction because 
Man, so what's good? How's your day been, man? Been good, man. Just been trying to run around and get some stuff done. Right. Finally got a break from working and whatnot. Yeah, no kidding. By the way, for anyone else that's on here and uh, coming on here, if you are an artist, whether you do uh, rap or you sing, gospel, CHH, anything like that, do me a favor. Go ahead and, and uh, send an email to info at the illustlines.com. We've got a new website up right now. It's, again, it's called the illustlines.com. And if you want your album featured, or if you want to be, uh, if you want your album reviewed or a single reviewed or anything like that, any kind of critiquing or anything like that that you want, uh, we will go ahead and post it up on the website, and uh, you can get your uh, uh, your album reviewed. You can get your album spotlighted, everything. And uh, you know, we want to make sure that we we support everybody, especially the indie artists, because you know, the indie artists, you know, we kind of don't get as much love as everyone else does but so we try to support each other so we can make sure that there's some kind of lifeline involved in the things that we do our creativity um that uh, god has given us to be able to spread some kind of message about him and uh, you know be able to bring uh, uh people together on on the, the line of music itself um that's one of the reasons why the illness lines was created so that we could you know start you know not only celebrating god uh, in, in a different manner but also to be able to uh, celebrate our craft, to be able to, to let people know that, you know, there's more to it than just, you know, singing a few lines and humming a few bars and spitting a few bars, you know what I mean? So we want to be able to give some right. give some people enough, um, some, not enough, but some kind of other platform that can be used to help them as well as, you know, help us, help us as well. So go to the illustlines.com. We've got a review up right now of, uh, of uh, Bump's album. We've got an interview, I mean, excuse me, a review of St. Patrick's album. We've got a couple of other spotlights on there. So check that out. Go to the contacts page, but make sure you email info at the illustlines.com. Hugh Holler. Uh, yes. No, I was just saying what up to you holler. Hey bro, share this joint. Um let people know we're doing the giveaway, man. I'm giving out the uh I'm giving out the hat with the matching shirt, you know. Stripping is included, you know what I mean? And then also I got a pink one, like a a, a pink and gold shirt for the mothers for Mother's Day, I'm giving out Got that exclusive line the lamb in size medium. You know what I mean? Got that uh that good classic S2G. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Yeah. Black and white S2G shirt. I'm giving it out for free, ship it included, but you gotta share this. You gotta interact in the comments. You gotta get involved, man. You know yes. what I'm saying? But I'm ready when you are, bro. Most definitely. James Williams, thank you so much for and sharing. And we don't have I a good time in the that. Lord, man. Most definitely are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Donnell Ashley, thank you for sharing as well. What's up, bro? Appreciate all the love, man. The feedback on the project. 
getting a lot of uh, good feedback, a lot of good reaction about the about the record, man. And, yeah, man. Uh, I'm grateful for that. God is good. Yeah. All right. For those that are on, if you uh, don't mind joining us in prayer, we're gonna sure. say a quick prayer, real quick, because we always want to make sure to give glory to God. Absolutely. Brother Heavenly God, Father, I just I'm thank good. you for this time of fellowship. Oh, my bad. Go ahead, bro. No, it's okay. Good. You got you, guys. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Father God, I just thank you for this time of fellowship. Lord God, I just thank you that uh, where two or three are gathered, there you are in the midst, Lord God. And um, we just want to make sure that you're glorified in all things, Father God, and that even people who may need a word today, that we be open to hear your spirit to provide a word of encouragement, word of edification, and even if it need be a word of correction, Father God, to get us right on the right path. But Father God, I just want to take this time, Lord God, to thank you. And in all things yes, that we sir. do, we give thanks, Father. So we, we're giving thanks to you even in uh, uh, celebrating this album, Lord God, that is yes, strictly to glorify you, Lord God. And um, I just pray that it be used for your glory, that you would save people, that you would uh, uh, re re reconcile the backsliders, Lord God, that you would encourage the, the brokenhearted, Lord God, that you would uh, help those who are struggling, Lord God, know that you can set them free, Father. If you did it for me, you can do it for anyone. So, Father, I just thank you. I ask that you bless it. I ask that the people who need to see it, see it right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. I just bless you. I give you praise and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. Amen. All right. All right. Welcome. 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 We appreciate everyone who's on right now. We thank you for sharing it. Uh, my name is Daniel Anthony, and I am the host of The Illest Lines, and my guest is none other than St. Jones, man. St. Jones. Yes, sir, man. Glad to be here. The album just dropped yesterday. Yeah, man. Uh, no kidding. We're getting a lot of feedback. It seemed like it dropped three days ago because that first day of dropping, yeah. you get like the initial wave of people reacting to it right, and right. giving feedback about it and uh, people saying that they blessed, let me know what was their favorite songs and stuff like that. So it's pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I got to tell you, you know, one of the things that I've always loved about you and, and your spirit is you have this this way about you that you have no problem ministering your gift in the way of giving something to people you know whether it's you know the merchandise or whether it's the the, the music in itself because ever since shoot i'm trying to remember the first i want to say it was probably the psalms three and we're going to get to to you know the the whole thing with the psalms one through seven and 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 why for some some reason you're, you're saying that this is the last one but i digress i digress um so the Psalms 3 was probably the first one that I heard from you. And man, ever since then, I remember like your, your biggest thing was if you can't afford, I remember you saying this on one of your posts, if you can't afford the uh, uh, the, the music or if you, you don't have streaming services, let me know and I will ship a free copy to you. And I'm yeah, not going to lie, true. a part of me wanted to hit, hit, you know, yeah, sure, let me get one. But I'm like, no, I don't want to take anything <laughs> away from anyone else. You know what I mean? Because, you know, right. uh, ba basic human instinct is, oh, you, you saying something for free? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so you get you get that moment Absolutely. where you're like, okay, wait a minute, I got to, let me back off a minute because I didn't want to take <laughs> anything from anyone else that actually needed, you know, not saying that I right. needed to hear any, any of the message, but that's been one of my biggest things with you. You know, you, you seem to be, uh, I won't even say seem to be, you are a minister first and your proof mm -hmm. is in everything that you do. You know, so I wanted to point I that out because you. I don't know if, if anyone ever says that to you and, and whoever does, you know, they're on the right track with, with giving you your just due. And, you know, we got to make sure to give people their just due now rather than later. Hey, Amen. Amen. Yeah, man, that's like, man, I, I, I've always been like just giving, bro. Like my mom is very giving person. Um, hey, the, the background music is a little loud, bro. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Let me turn that down. Yeah. Got you. <clears throat> All good. There we go. How's that? That's better. I feel like cool. I'm at church. Hey, turn it down a little bit. <laughs> turn the deacon up. Like, no. But uh, <laughs> Nah, but uh, man, just giving, bro. Like I grew up broke, bro. I grew up poor, bro. I'm from the projects, like for real. Like, I was literally just thinking about it, cause I'm actually, uh, I'm actually about to. I did a song for a DJ, and I'm actually going to be in New York City to shoot the video in two weeks. Nice. And uh, 
The song is called Made It Out. I don't know if I'm supposed to be releasing this because it's not, officially not my song. He paid me for it. So it's like, oh, it's right? not oh, my okay. song. It's his song, but it's my right, song right. still. But but um, the song is called Made It Out. And it just had me really thinking about, bro, like we was poor, bro. Like, mm. like right, right. times with no electric, times with no heat. We spent the majority of our time growing up. We didn't have a car. Like it was yeah. very rare that we had a vehicle. Like we, I wow. moved so many times. Like I remember in the third grade, wow. man, I went to four different schools in the third grade. Oh, tell I got me made about fun it. of for my clothes, uh, bro. I I went from 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 I've probably been I've probably went to fifteen to twenty different schools in my entire mm-hmm. lifetime just because of being unstable because my mom was trying to do it by herself. So, right. I um, you know what I'm saying. So I say all that to say, man. I know what it's like to struggle, man. And if I'm in a position to be able to bless people, then right. I'm going to do it. And also, this is the gospel. Like, if it's really about ministry, of course, there are uh, costs to this. And, of course, you yeah. know, you want to reap what you sow. And, and, and it's okay to get blessed for whatever work you're putting in. But, right. you know, if I can – if it, I believe that the music can really – I believe people can get saved through the music. Yes. I believe people can get healed. I yep. believe people can get edified and and, yes. I, and people be inboxing me all the time telling me like, thank you, bro, for for mm-hmm. this. Like, I needed this right now. So if that's the case, I'm not going to let money get in between people receiving right. Uh, right. Uh, ministry through this music. So, you know, and even sometimes people don't have the uh, Wi-Fi or the data to stream the, right. the project on YouTube right. and stuff. So. I, I even provide like a private download link that they can download the MP3. Mm-hmm. So if anybody yeah. on here, if you if you need that, let me know. Also, I got yeah. hard copies that's coming in. They're 15 bucks to get shipped. If you don't got it, let me know. And uh, there's also people who there's people who will order a CD every time I drop, and they'll pay like over what the CD costs. Right. I'm gonna shout out some of the people. Shout out Nicholas Griner. He's somebody who does that. Uh, Amen. Spencer O'Connor. He's somebody who does that. Who'll pay pay over the amount of the project and uh, shout out to prophet josiah he just did that yesterday man so uh elder right. rodney another one he, he's somebody who will pay over right, the right. amount required for that project and so that gives me leeway to be able to give you know people projects and then also i use them as ministry tools too so exactly there's people who may order five you it's like a audio track man sometimes right right with, with it, the is. Music. it is and specifically you know i mean there's one thing that that some people don't don't really understand when it comes to gospel music, CHH and all that, that if it does not, just because you mentioned Jesus in the songs does not necessarily mean that it makes it <laughs> exactly what it is. If you, you got to have right. some kind of ministry tool in there, you know what I mean? And obviously, mm. like one of the biggest things that I've always noticed when it comes to certain people like yourself and, and anyone else that I've, I'm fans of is that that testimony, man. You know, it's such a hard thing to to do to give sometimes because a lot of people are like you know I don't really want to you know give my business send my put my business out there and whatnot and and they right. don't understand that your testimony what the things that you've been through can been through can help them get through their own mm. situation even if it's not exactly the same right. and the the part of it being ministry is giving people that gospel, letting them know just mm. how much Christ loves them, just letting them know that it's not about religion. It's about a relationship, letting them know exactly why and how he comes first. You know what I mean? And on, once man. they get past through all that stuff, once they, they at least have that conversation and music is a great tool for that. It's a great tool right. for that. That's why a lot of people do it because, you know, well, a lot of people do it for other reasons too, but people do it because they know right. that it's something that can reach other people. You know what I mean? Just to be able right. to have that one moment, even if it's just with one person. So, yeah, I definitely applaud you for that because not, there's not a lot of people even in uh, Gospel and CHH that would want to give anything away. <laughs> and I get it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I, I realize that. Yeah. I realize that in this stuff, man. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, uh, man, um, um, I, I realize even like just being in the gospel, like in Christian rap mm-hmm. or just being in the church in general, it's almost an oxymoron, honestly. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I realize there's a lot of selfish Christians. <laughs> it, it, man, it's, right? it's very clear in the scripture where uh, the Lord was saying that, you know, I was hungry. You didn't feed me. I was I was mm-hmm. uh, I was a stranger. You didn't take me in. I was naked. You didn't clothe me. I was in prison. You didn't visit me. And they're like, right. when did I when did I not do that? You know what I'm saying? Right. Jesus, we, when, when, did, when did this happen? 
Or when did right. I do that? Right. The disciples were asking because <laughs> yeah. he was telling the disciples that you are doing this. Mm-hmm. And it's like, the as much as you've done for the least of these, you've done it unto me. And yeah. so it's just important to have a heart to give. Like, yeah. I just want to, and then I'm going to share a testimony too about giving. First of all, I want to shout out everybody in here. What up, old dog? What up, freedom? What up, Hugh? My, Hugh Holler, yeah. my brother, my little blood brother, AJ. What's yeah. up, bro? Uh, Donnell, my guy, my other blood brother, Jay. Love you, boy. Appreciate y'all for sharing. Uh, I'm giving out, for those who just checking in, I'm giving out free shirts. Let me let y'all know once again. You know what I'm saying? We're living in the age of ADD, so I got to keep y'all attention. You feel me? <laughs> got the blue joint. Oh, look at that. With the yeah. Match it. Free shipping. I got this. This is an extra large, but I got it in other sizes that whatever you may request. What up, Elder Tone? Uh, what up, Logic? My guy, man. Always showing love. Always sharing. Always tagging people with my music. Bro, that stuff does not go unnoticed. It's huge. It's right. important. And I, I'm grateful for it, man. So uh, yeah. back what I was saying, it's like, that's all I know is to be giving. Like my brother is like, like he was just hit. I was talking to my little brother the other day, <laughs> yesterday. Uh-huh. Uh, he's newly saved. Shout out to Jay. He he he's newly uh saved a, a, a couple years ago. He's a babe in Christ. He's growing though. But he was like, right. you know, you need some, you need a little something, something. I was just telling him like, you know, my little struggle, or uh, mm-hmm. what I was trying to get to. I was hustling for. And uh, he was like, you need a little something, something. And he was just telling me about how he just now getting himself straightened out. But he was still willing to give, man. And so that's something that right. my mom instilled in us. Like a lot of people will give from their abundance, but when you like the like the lady who gave that that one pence, the the poor lady who gave the uh the, that little bit that she had, and, right. and Jesus says she gave more than everybody because that's all she had. Exactly. So it's easy to give when it's convenient, but are you willing to sacrifice when it's inconvenient to be a blessing to mm-hmm. other people? Not only is it an act of kindness, but it's an act of faith, man. It's an act of, right. of, like, I trust that God is going to give this back. He said, give, and it shall be given unto you. He said, we, uh, we will reap down. what we sow. So yep. whatever you sow, and that's what you're going to get, man. Go ahead, man. Say that. Press definitely, down. Definitely. Run it over. Together, Shaking man. together. Yes. How I go. Uh-huh. We're giving out yeah. this shirt, too. Uh, we're giving out, man. We're giving out this S2G. Uh, listen, man. Got this exclusive line in a lamb shirt. Nobody has this shirt. It's only been one. It's only one made. This is a medium. So, uh, matter of fact, if you're interested in getting a shirt, comment your size in the comment section. Comment y'all sizes in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I can see what we working with, man. But yeah, yes, bro, definitely. God is good, man. That's all I got to say. I'm long winded, man. All the time. Hey, it's all right. So am I. Ask my family. Don't ask my family. <laughs> if my family is on, please don't answer that. Uh, don't respond to that. <laughs> that's why we do stuff like this that's why i, I do an right. album with 20 songs and you know what i'm saying you do uh illest lines and podcasts we like right, talk, exactly you know yeah most definitely matter of fact i want to get into that real quick you know while we're talking about it because okay so people know people uh uh let me see i would say people i would say around 30 plus 30 plus years old right we know that a long time ago, there's been, you know, songs or albums that have been put out, maybe about nine or 10 songs, right? And then there was a period right. where people started doing 13, 15, 20 something songs, right? In an album. And it was like, oh man, oh, they got to do a double album now, you know what I mean? Because you got like more than, than 15 songs. And then it started right. shortening up. <clears throat> And I noticed that even right. on the previous songs, you don't have, like, you you have a pretty good amount of songs on there. But um, this was the one that had the most on it. Am I right? Yeah, uh, Psalms three had eighteen, okay. but like even with Psalms three, I think I think I had maybe a, a interlude or two on there. Uh-huh. Uh, um, but yeah, the Psalms the Psalms three is the one that comes the closest. Uh, Psalms two. Yeah. Which is not on the streaming platforms, but it's on YouTube and uh, Noise Trade and SoundCloud. Mm. That one only has 17 or right. 16 or something like that. But yeah, this is actual 20 songs, like not yeah. not an intro or outro or right, you right. know three interludes. Yeah. Nah, 20 actual <laughs> full tracks. So my question on that is, what what made you feel like, you know what? Let's just do the whole 20. Oh man, like. So a part of my thinking was I like to, because I know like this stuff is ministry right? and like people are like edified by my music. They're, 
encouraged by it and, and I wanted to provide enough music to be able to relate to as wide a variety as people as I can. Um, and also be able to encourage, edify, minister to as many people at once as possible. And so, uh, that's, that's one of the reasons why I did that. We did this with this project. And, um, I've been on this trajectory. Like last year I dropped <laughs> the songs five, Psalm six, mm -hmm. a mixtape called thief in the night. And I dropped the EP. So I've been yeah. kind of consistently dropping, but this, this year I, I got a lot of different stuff I want to work on. So I wanted mm -hmm. to drop a, a full project with enough to get me through the summer, get people through the summer so that I can right. work on. Uh, there's a shout out to a, pro a producer named elect. Uh, he actually produced all the glory, which is number 20 on the, on the album. He right. wants to, uh, he's putting out an EP. He wants me to do a, a joint EP with me. So I'm going to be working on that. I wanted to be able to get to other people's features so I wanted to, uh, and then also I wanted to help. I wanted to start building S2G as a ministry, yeah. as a brand, as a as a as a clothing brand, and even as a label slash. You know, we're not even really a label technically, but right, right. Um, I wanted to build. I wanted to put out a project. People can eat off of it all year, and then or all summer at least, spring, summer, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And then be able to focus on some other things while 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 that while this project is in rotation. Yeah, yeah, and it's definitely going to be stay in rotation. You know, I, I'm not going to lie. I was I'm doing work in the backyard today, and man, I'm listening to it over and over and over again. I think it must have must have been about three times that uh, that all 20 songs oh, wow. played. I'm like, yeah, 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 most definitely, most definitely, and and yeah, all the glory is definitely one of one of the uh, best songs on there as well. You honestly, you you Appreciate you it. asked me to choose about three songs, man, and it you that you made that real difficult to do. <laughs> you made that real difficult to do. Those of you on here that know and have uh, have a history with listening to uh, Saint Jones music, you already know that it, it's you you can't just pick one. So you might as well be, yeah, you know, I'm just going to say I, I, got, yeah. I like this one. I like that one. You know what I mean? Um, you mentioned All the Glory, so I, I don't know if you could hear, but I'm gonna, I want to play that right now. So this is a live listen okay. of number 20, All the Glory from St. Jones. And uh, you said it was produced by Produced Hunnigan? by Elect. His name yes. is Elect. I-L-L-E-C-T. So it's like a play on words. The Elect yeah. guy, but he ill on the beats. Elect. Yes. He Most actually definitely. hit me up, bro, and he sent me five beats. Like, bro, no charge. Like, I, I just want to be a blessing here. Five man. beats on love. To, and, and it was like, I was like, man, that's love. I still gave him a donation or something. Just right, be like, right. man, I can't. He's joining exactly. some fire, man. So, like, you sure yeah, you don't man. want something? Mac and cheese? You yeah. Can I make you a plate? <laughs> <laughs> right. Nah, but he's yeah. so humble, man. He was just, he was just gracious to be on the project, man. And I was thankful to have him on there. Right, right. And do me a favor, everyone that that's uh, on here right now. I want to make sure I don't blast your uh, your ears out. So, if you can make sure to let me know whether or not it's too low or too loud, I'd appreciate it. I can hear it. I'm sure St. Jones can hear it, but we want to make sure low. that you can feel it as well. One thing I, I liked about this song is that it, it had like a, a movie score feel to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. And, and I'm I'm a big I'm a big fan of music that makes you feel something. I was telling uh, another yeah. uh, artist named Will Cater. He had man, Will Cater's dope too. He, uh, William Cater, I'm sorry. He has uh, that same type of sound where you feel like it's coming from back here, right behind your head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Word. And it just like, it surrounds yeah. you. You know what I mean? And when you feel that, it's like, you just kind of want to sit down for a minute and just start really paying attention to everything that's going on in that song. Not just the, the lyrics, not just the... The, the kick and the snare, the, the snaps of it. You right. know what I mean? You want to hear everything. And I gotta say, like you, you've been yeah. consistent with pretty much every single, well, all the ones that I've listened to. Because I, I can't lie, you know, full full transparency, I haven't heard everything, but I've heard enough right. to where I'm like, <laughs> shoot, I, I became a fan right away. So, you know, this type of thing, yeah, man, yes, Kate, man, right? You, how, you holler, Kate is fire. Um, yeah, so it, it's that same feel that I get with all of these songs, to be honest with you. 
Yeah, man. The, uh, the bro, I appreciate that, man. Elect, uh, you know, a lot of times, like the beats that I, I've selected are like beats. I'm leasing most of them, and so it's like ah, you probably hear somebody else rap on it, and you know, right, it's, right. it was never none of the beats were tailor made for me. But he like actually made five beats specifically only for me. Wow. Uh, the four, the other four he he made me were uh, it didn't fit the kind of vibe or the feel that I was going for with this project. So uh, I didn't include it on that. We probably, it's probably going to be on the EP that me and him do or the next projects right, or whatever. Right. But, uh, but uh, yeah, he, 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 he did his thing with that beat, bro. And he, it was just right on time when he sent me that Shoot batch. He's actually, the beat was actually slower than that. Really? And I actually, I sped the beat up just a tad bit. It's still kind of yeah. slow, but it was even slower than that. It was like this big, like, like you said, it was real theatrical, man. And, uh, wow. I sped up the beat a little bit on that record, but um, yeah. and I was like, See, that's, I was gonna add uh -huh. a second verse, but I just like, you know, what's crazy that record actually was going to be an intro, but as I started recording, yeah. man, everything just kind of shifted with this project, yeah, mm -hmm. man. I feel you, I feel you. yeah, it's one of those things where you know, you kind of have to kind of have to let God just do what he do what he does and you you know what I mean and and that's one thing and that's right freedom epiphany Schubert said you can't just choose one song that's right um yeah you 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 have to to kind of right. sit back and and when you can do that when you when you recognize that you have no choice but to just give it to God and let him do exactly what he's going to do that's when you know that you've got something that is going to pretty much last and touch a lot of people which is the goal. The goal is to make sure that you that you Amen. touch some people, that you change some people, because that's part of the ministry Facts. of doing exactly what we do. Facts, bro. Like, Most I definitely. don't... That's what I want to do, man. Like, I, I don't want to make nothing... Like, the goal is, like... So, I had this thing where I talk about people saying... Uh, like, I've seen artists say, y'all don't support me, and uh, I get what they're kind of saying in a sense. Right. Right. But at the same time, it's like this is their, these people. It's this. This is people's time. This is people's yeah. ear, and and in, and in a lot of cases, people's money. And so it's like, right. I I don't need you to support me. I'm supposed to be offering a, <laughs> a entertainment value to you. So it's right, like, right. I want to make music that people want to come back to and replay. This yeah. is like for you to just say, I want support. Just share my song or listen to it one time. I want to make something that's going to bring you back. Right, I want to make something right. that's going to sit, sit on you and make you think, man. And yeah. so that's what, you know, that's what I, that's how, that's my whole uh, theory when it comes to making this music, man. It's just like, yeah. it gotta, it gotta, you gotta feel it more so than just hear it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a, that's a real good point. Cause you know, present company included, you know, I'm not going to lie. There are times that I, I feel a little salty when I see certain things and I'm like, Man, come on! How come? How come people don't really, man, look at this? But nobody's supporting. Right. Nobody's doing this. Nobody's doing that. But you know, at the same time, right. you know, for for the type of music that we do, we we have to do our best to keep ourselves in check and remember who we're doing it for. You know what I mean? And right. we know somebody's somebody's gonna listen to it. Somebody's gonna uh, change their lives. Somebody's gonna follow Christ, and somebody's gonna get saved. You know what I mean? So, right. it, and if that's what we're doing it for, that's why, that's why preachers are supposed to preach. That's why ministers are supposed to minister. That's why evangelists are supposed to go out, whether they go door to door or whether they, you know, have some kind of event that's going on, whatever they do, that's why they're doing it. They're not doing it so that their name can be heard and, and they can become famous and this and, that and the other. You know, I, sometimes we have to remind ourselves that's not what it's for. It's to make sure that we can reach right. out to people. Yeah, absolutely, man. And it, 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 like, <laughs> that's one thing I always told the Lord, because I get I get a lot of um, like, yo, he should be bigger. Like, you know, why ain't you on already? Quote unquote, whatever that on right. word is. Right. Uh, right. It's like, uh, you know, I, I asked the Lord, like, you know, give me what I'm mature enough to handle. Exactly. And so it's like, I don't want to. The Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the world but lose, lose his soul? So if I'm if I'm too immature to handle my own household, why would God give me an an audience of thousands Man. of people? Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. and there's some people where they do get this platform way before it's their time, and uh, you see people 
You see like bad divorces in the public. You see right. cats overdosing and, and going back to, Man. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Going back to the, which I, 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 I used to struggle with alcohol. I've, I've backslid on alcohol before too. Mm -hmm. But imagine if I did that while I was on a bigger platform, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So God is kind of gradually growing it and it kind of grows as I'm mature in Christ, as mm -hmm. I become a better husband, a better, a better man of God. And so, I mean, I've seen it like people like tied to a top five Christian rap label. Right. And now they're on live smoking weed. Yeah. Literally. Smoke. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say no names. Right. But they on live smoking weed and, and cussing. Completely don't care about their witness right. no more. Right. But they were in a major video with million, million plus views. So it's right. like. Um, there's an artist, there's an artist, there's a, a cat that was supposed to have a feature on my album. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit told me not to put him on there. Wow. And it was suck, it sucked for me to it sucked for me to tell him that because I love his brother. Right. And the right, verse right. was fire. But the Lord showed me there were some things in his life that weren't in line with God. So what you were rapping is not lining up with how you live, and God showed me. Mm -hmm. And so I said, bro, I, I'm sorry, but God's saying I can't put you on this record. You got to straighten out some stuff. If we're going to claim sign to God, we got to make sure we really live in that. Exactly. And so right. He received it. Mm. And he's actually in a better space even now from that conversation. But it, 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 it's, it's being honest about where you at with your walk. And, man, listen, I always tell God, man, destroy all this if i'm out of line period i don't care yeah like i don't right. i'm not about to be out getting some big platform and my walk is terrible and it end up yeah. in hell but you got a million followers on twitter but you're going to hell yeah. so it's like right because guess what those million Probably followers not. are gonna are gonna watch you and possibly do the same thing where i'm about to read this comment uh brother freedom yes, shout out to brother freedom speaking about giving speaking about giving yeah I don't want to let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. I ain't going to mess up my brother's blessing, man. But just know this man of God is a true, generous man of God. Uh, yeah. He said, I own a taxi service. I was driving a client, rocking out to this, noticed the dude crying, looking out the window. I asked what's wrong, looking to minister to him. His response was, what kind of music is this? It said, led the brother to Christ. It was yeah. the Psalms 3. Bro, Man. bro, listen to me. Amen. That is greater than any type of stellar award, kingdom yep. image award, yes. any type of these phony awards that they're giving. Right. I mean, it would be great to be recognized for Mount Craft. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not too prideful to act like, oh, but I this don't is need the recognition I used too. to be. Yeah. Yeah. See, this, that's worth more. Bro, yeah. he never told me this. I, and Man. if he did, I don't remember. Amen. That's fire. That that's it, bro. Mm. That is the bro. This is storing up treasures in heaven, where moths yeah. don't like you. It says store not up treasure uh, treasure upon earth, where moths corrupt and thieves break in and steal. But store your treasures in heaven. Mm. So that's what's important to me. It's like that's why. I, and then another reason why I want to do twenty tracks because God is so multifaceted. The testimony. This walk is so multifaceted. It's so many things we go through. I wanted yeah. to be able to cover everything so that people can listen to this right. and it also let my my discography be a form of discipleship as well. Right. And so now I'm able to witness to somebody and I'm not even there. So God yeah. used the Psalms three Amen. to Amen. witness to somebody. And so I'm yeah. getting points in heaven and I, and, you know what I'm saying? It's a cheap <laughs> right, right. to get more, you know, my mansion figure in heaven. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So that's what it's about, bro. Like it, it like, dude, mm -hmm. <laughs> if y'all know who I was and how Jesus saved me, bro, like there's no mm -hmm. way I can do anything other than, than try my best to do his work. Cause he, he got to get return on his investment because no, I was oh, a brother man. that did not care Say about Jesus. I thought Say Jesus was a man. I used to be rolling up my weed saying, why y'all worshiping this Jesus? He's just a man. And he saw mm. fit to save me, even though I rejected him initially. So, wow. man, wow. so I got to, I got to, I got to, man, that's powerful. Thank you for sharing that freedom. For yeah, real, bro. most definitely. You said, you said a uh, return on the investment. Man. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, oh, got man, to. shoot. That that in itself right there is is one of the best things. It's like, yeah, of course, you know, we all want a certain amount of success. We all want certain things that um that make us at least feel like the things that we're doing are well spent. You know what I mean? But even if right. there's moments that we don't know, 
even if there are a lot of people that like this is just one story there could be tens upon you know hundreds thousands mm. maybe of, of stories that you don't know but just because right. you don't know don't mean that god don't know right amen bro like also i'm giving out uh i'm giving out just real quick side note i'm yeah. giving out uh cds too so i'm gonna give out copies of psalms 5 psalm 6 amen. And, and psalm 7 uh so free copies so if you are interested in receiving free copies just type cd in the comments and uh whoever we however we decide to select the people at the end we're gonna select them Amen. and we're gonna send them out uh like i said i'll just i'll just collect your information your shipping information after this mm -hmm. and uh, we'll send it out so um yeah man Amen. Amen. Uh, for everyone that's on, do me a favor and go to your favorite live streaming service, whether it's Tidal, whether it's Apple Music, whether it's Spotify, whether it's YouTube, uh, in, anywhere else, whatever, Deezer, um, iHeartRadio. <laughs> go there right now. Deezer. <laughs> Make sure Deezer. Yeah. Make sure that you add the Psalm 7. All right. Make sure you type Amen. in his name correctly. St. Jones. Make sure you type in the name, yes, the, the Psalms 7, P-S-A-L-M-S, -S, just in case, you know, you don't know how the Psalms is spelled. That's how it's spelled. <laughs> Look it up. Roman numeral to playlist, 7, too. Right. V-I-I. V -I -I. Yes, there you go. And and make sure that you do that. Right. And, and, you know, uh, not just support him just for support's sake. Support him because you know that he's doing the exact thing that he is called to do, the exact thing that God is leading him to do. Um, it, it's it's a form of ministry, period. Just because he's not behind a podium and, and got his name, you know, on a church uh, building does not does not take away his ministry, does not take away the word that he preaches, does not take away what God has given him. So definitely support him. Do that right now. And I want to get sure. uh, into another song. Yeah, most definitely. I want to get into another song. Cause this song right here, man. Now you already know I'm 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 a fan of like neo soul vibes and stuff. And right. and any any moment that any artist, especially an artist that I feel has not had too much of that particular sound in it, you've got my attention right up, right right away. So two up right now, featuring Wifey, <laughs> yes, featuring Christina Jones and Jay Rich. This song right here, oh. Man, you got a man. Hold up, I'm pressing pause right there. <laughs> right there, I'm taking it back because as soon as it, as soon as it hit, man. Oh my god! I, now this one was a few days ago when I was uh, uh, when I was doing the front yard. So I do backyard, do the front yard. I got music in my ears, right? <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I had to stop because I'm literally standing there with my uh, with my lawnmower, with my edger. I'm just like, oh, man. I ran it back like probably three times at least. Oh, man. At the end of my uh, my driveway, I'm just like, I don't care who sees it. And that's the kind of praise that we want. That's the kind of praise that we want to make that God wants for us to give. It's that kind of praise where it doesn't matter where we're standing. It doesn't matter if we're in the grocery store, whatever it is. He wants to know that we're gonna, you know, we're gonna give him the praise and honor and glory that he deserves. And this one had me feeling like, oh man, I couldn't. Oh. Too up to be down. Too up to be down. I stole it from my wife. Yeah. <laughs> you said you stole it. <laughs> yeah, it was supposed to be on her project, but she be yeah. she be playing, man. She be procrastinating, <laughs> so I stole it. I want it to be known right now that I'm not saying anything, uh, uh, Wifey Jones. I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this dude, uh, is, his name is Jay Rich. Yeah, Jay Rich. Check him out. He's from California. Oh, yeah? What part? Do you know? Yeah. Stick Fresno. Oh, okay. Man, another one from Fresno. I just got done uh, interviewing this dude uh, named Spitz the Flame, who's from Fresno. Um, I believe Brees Miles is from Fresno. Spitz the Flame. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Spitz the Flame. S P I T Z the Flame. Yeah, he's pretty dope. He's pretty dope. And, um, but yeah, this song right here, man, it just, 
Oh, first, oh, I remember where I was gonna go. Jay Rich. So he's from Fresno. So how did this collaboration with him? I already know how collab came from with Wifey. So how how did that come about with Jay Rich? Man, I just uh actually we connected like he did a uh like he be doing all the challenges and stuff like some of the major oh, yeah? uh, CHH artists do their challenges yeah. and me and him did uh I think we were like finalists in some challenge I want to say it was day in or it, I can't remember which exactly challenge it was but we kind of connected on that tip he was just like yo you spitting right. that you know it's it's ministry yeah. in your bars and and I noticed the same thing even with him. And so it was just like, this was a dude that was just on my, like, I honestly, man, it's like, I, I try to be spirit led in the whole process of making an album. I'm not right. saying everything that I do is just straight from the heaven's floors, but <laughs> I try to be spirit led. And it's like, I felt like yeah. God put it on my heart to put him on this record, bro. Right. So Amen. I sent him to it. He was like, yes, fire. I jump on it. He yeah. wrote, wrote his verse, got it back to me in like a week or two. It was smooth, man. So nice, nice, and that, and that's one of the things that we like. We we like to be able to to hit up people that we already know. Okay, you got you. We see you got talent. We see you got you know uh, bars. We see you got this. We see you got that. But you know, I I, I need to to feature you on a song. That's why, I like you know, when I hit you up about getting on uh, the More Than Remix. I was like, you know, sure. no, this has to be this. This needs to be something way out and completely different. And thank you know, yeah. thank God that you said yeah, because you know, I I can't I can't even imagine what that would have sounded like without you on it. You know what I mean? Same thing with the other guy, DJ Stussy. Yeah, that's my nephew out in California. He, you know, same thing. Same thing with the original. My son was on the original, so I'm like, I'm hearing these, and I'm like, yeah, I can't, I can't hear it any other way. So same thing with the song. I can't hear it any other way. And and this, I gotta say, if, it, if I had to pick one, this is probably my favorite song. And just because of the vibe in itself, it's got that little bounce. It's yeah. got, oh man, it's got everything that I I love. And uh, uh, you guys just like, man fire all over it man fire yeah. all over it and i appreciate you man god is yeah. good man this this record is actually i'm gonna give the producers credit it's produced by epic the don uh, i know y'all probably he been advertising like crazy i know we I, probably 20 people didn't use this same beat but uh, it is what it is i try yeah. to hurry up and get it out quick so i could be the first one <laughs> but uh, yeah because right. a lot of like, like a lot of this like i can't really yeah. it's not in the budget to get the exclusive rights so i gotta lease these I'm joints kidding. and he had a right. nice little sale on the leases so I was able to get a wave lease for this man, and right, uh, right. Uh, 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 he did this record. He also did um, the Never record, number mm. seven, I think that is, or six. Right, right. And then uh, he did uh, the Thank You record, the second to last record on the album. Oh, okay, got you, got you. Yeah, I, I'm I'm all too familiar with the uh, um, with the lease and stuff, and and as a matter of fact, that's one of the reasons why I ended up finally, you know gathering up as much patience as I could so I could try to see if I could, you know, try my hand at production myself because I I, I started getting mo most of the stuff that I had before was from this dude named Emphasol. And when I tell you that this dude, oh my gosh, this dude is ridiculous on the production uh, tip all the way. Um, but there was like at least two songs, I believe, that of, of mine that somebody else used. And I'm like, wow, hmm. One of them was actually really cool. I enjoyed what the, what the person did to it. The other one, not so much. And you know, and it, it it made me feel like, wow, really? This is what this is what we're doing. You know what I mean? But you know, they got to make the money, so it's all right. good. The other thing that made me feel better about it was that right. if by chance, like how you said a little bit ago, you know, you had to hurry and put yours out because once people start to hear it. It's like, well, man, now they got, you know, some choices to make. <laughs> Who am I going to listen to? I'd rather right. listen to St. John's. <laughs> right, right. Amen, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. It's another dude. <laughs> it's another dude named St. John's that's not uh, oh, right, a man right. of God. By, and it's kind of easy to tell by the records he, saw, he, <laughs> he, he drops. But God bless him. We pray he come in. But yeah. Uh, some of it on some of the streaming platforms, his his uh, a couple of his songs from his catalog is attached to my catalog. I'm working on getting that separated, right. but <laughs> that track called "Period" that's not my song, and then he got another track called "A Word." I'm not even gonna say. And uh, right. uh, yeah, man, <laughs> that's not me either. So right, know that right. it's not me at uh -huh. all. Oh man, and, and you know what? We'll we'll be able to tell the difference though. You know. 
Yeah, for sure. Most definitely. Um, you know, we've talked about my, at least a couple of my favorite songs. So I want to know if you had to pick a few songs, what, which ones are your favorites that you felt like I, I, there, there's no way I could have done this project without these songs? Um, let me think. Um, I know you got 20 of them. Man, that's a tough question. <laughs> uh, I know it's so many of them. Um, the uh, so I say this: this there's one song where I was unsure of if it was gonna make the project or not. Um, that uh, ended up becoming one of my favorites. It's the, it's the song called "Set Me Free" on there. Um, yes, that was, that ended up being one of the ones that I I listened to. That's eight. Okay, where that that turned out to be one of the ones that I listened to um, on repeat. For myself, <clears throat> excuse me. And then, um, man, let me look at my track list. I don't even know my own music, man. Let me. Let me <laughs> hey, it's like that sometimes. <laughs> right, man. Because it's like it kind of jumps around, especially since I mix my own music. Sometimes I play my own stuff out, man. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's see. Um, so set me free was one that was like that, mm -hmm. and then um, extra good is one that like I, I wanted to have that on there for sure. Um, here I am is one of my favorites on there. Oh yeah! Oh man! Um, of course, yeah. Mm. And then uh, actually, ready to die is one that like. That just get me in my 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 end time soldier mode, man. So that's that's another one that's like one of my favorites on there. That may not be the one of the most popular records, but it's one of my favorites on there. Hmm. And now, then, uh, now, what makes you say that? If you don't mind me interjecting, real quick. What what makes you say that you you might not be one of the popular records? Uh, cause I'm talking about you know some stuff that people don't probably don't really want to face. Like for instance, death. Saying that you're ready to die. Like I even had somebody ask me that, like, why are you like, why are you saying that? Like, you ready? You got a lot to do. It's like it's not that I'm, I want to die. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? It's just like I'm ready. Like, it's, it's like if we understood what heaven was like, if we understood when we leave this earth, man, if we're in the, the will of the Lord, yep. if we understood that, what that's like, and right. I don't even understand in this fullness, but I got an idea. Right. And so uh, the scripture says, uh, Paul was saying to live is Christ and to die is gain. Dang. And, um, you know, and even Paul was even talking about how um, uh, he was talking about ministering to people. Um, and he was like, you know, uh, being absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. But it's like, I got a lot of more work to do down here. He's like, I would rather be present with the Lord, though, basically is what he was saying. Right. And so that's basically what that's about. It's like, I'm prepared for the return of the Lord. Like, I'm prepared to see Jesus face to face, to be in his presence. Like, I'm ready for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, kind of a uh, contra controversial type of um, conversation. But do you think that there's folks out there who are so ready to 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 go and be with God that they feel like their only hope to get that now is to take their own life and that's why maybe something like this may may you know hit people a certain way um yeah but it, even then that that you're not going to see God if you do that you know what I'm saying right. so like and that's why even I in that sense, yeah, it's like even in that sense, like on the Psalms three, I even had a song called Suicide, and I kind of had to mm -hmm. address that. That like I kind of addressed it in the second verse, but it's about dying to yourself, you know what I mean? But that is a topic. To, but um, suicide is like we we, we that, that's oh man that, that's a that's a loaded topic man like sure is. yeah yeah most definitely we'll be here a couple another couple of hours i try to be clear <laughs> yeah i try to be clear i actually did a um a song a, a remix it's one of the few remix that i that i've done of secular mm -hmm. music i did a, a remix to the exo tour life uh song right, right. for by Lil uzi vert a few years back mm -hmm. and i was actually kind of explaining what it would be like 
to to kill yourself and go to hell and because he was saying i guess mm. that like the record was like uh all my friends are dead, push me off the edge. And that just didn't sit right with me. Like, right. so it's like, at the same time, I'm talking about being ready to die, mm -hmm. but it's really about preparing yourself to die because the Bible is clear when it says that our life is like a vapor. And it also it says, yeah. um, whenever you say make plans for next month or next week, make sure you say Lord willing, because Lord willing, tomorrow's right. not promised. So it's like, mm -hmm. You can like if 2020 didn't show us that, that you better be prepared no when Christ either when Christ return or when because people are dying, young people, celebrities, rich people, broke people. It, uh, death is promised to all of us. So it's like, yeah, I believe it's something that we if we are if we're embracing death, that means we have embraced this walk with the Lord. We've embraced God is able to set us free from whatever bondages that we're in. And yeah. once we are one with the Lord in that manner, we will welcome the time to go be with the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, man. So, man. Uh, you know, for me, it's like, you know, although it may be something that is maybe taboo to say or mm -hmm. it's not it's not the culture to uh, address death, even right. though it's crazy how people kind of worship death in this country because every time somebody dies that's when people want to support them that's right, when they want to give them right they, they have the biggest funeral and, and nobody celebrated this person when he was alive right and, you know you can give a whole all the money you given to 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 somebody's funeral when they die you could have gave that to them when they're alive to invest right. in businesses and stuff right like something that. yeah so yeah. Yeah, so it's like death is something that I think we ought to be talking about more so that more than we do, and uh, it's something that's literally guaranteed to every single person in the history right. of this world. Right. So it's like if it's one thing that's for sure, you're going to die. Babies are dying in the womb every day. People right. are dying in the streets every day. Uh, death is a serious thing. So mm -hmm. we have to have that. You that will help you in your walk if you have it in your mind. I could die today. Do right. I want to die in my sins? Right. Or do I want to allow the grace of God to change me? Do I, I want to confess my sins to the Lord so that I can be cleansed of this unrighteousness so that I am ready to die? So that I am ready when Christ returns. Um yeah. and so yeah. so that's what that's what ready to die is about, man. It's realizing that we're in the last days, man. So mm -hmm. you bet we gotta we gotta we gotta get prepared. Right, right. And, look, and you know the hoodie uh, says, right, believe it or not. He's coming soon, mm -hmm. you know? right? Say, yeah. Yeah. There was there was some somebody that said before you you gonna bow now or you can bow later. Yeah, yeah. but every knee gonna bow, every mm -hmm. tongue gonna confess that Jesus is Lord. Mm -hmm. And some most people are gonna be bowing and saying Jesus is Lord after they're in everlasting contempt, and it sucks, man. It, sure, it, does. but it's the reality. The scripture really says is. that uh, narrow is the path that leads to right. eternal life. And it says, uh, and broad is the way. And it says, the, the eternal life, it said, few be there that find it. And then it says, the path mm -hmm. to destruction, many. So oh, yeah. it's clear that the majority will find the wrong path. And right. um, it's a minority. And I, I, I want to be one of those people that get in because eternity is, oh, yeah. is a serious thing. And that's that's another that's reason why I can't, I can't waste my time talking about myself or my my how i look or how good of a rapper i am right, in music. Right. Man, exactly. people are going to hell bro every day yeah and it's just like it sucks to talk it people don't like to talk about it but <laughs> jesus talked about it you know right. and, and, and it's a reality and i don't want nobody to go there so i, I gotta talk about yeah it. right exactly and that's part of our 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 calling when it comes to who we are in Christ. You know, we have to be willing right. to have those types of conversations with people. If we're not, then we're not equipped. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then we're we're not the ones that are supposed to be there to, to talk to these people about it because we could, you know, essentially and inadvertently send them the wrong way. You know what I mean? So right. we have to make sure that we understand that, okay, just because just we're a believer doesn't mean that we got to speak just then. We have to learn. We have to learn and, and ask God, like how you were saying, you know, we ask for his will and his way as to what exactly he wants us to do, what he wants us to say, how he wants us to say it. You know what I mean? And right. make sure that we do it in love. There's a lot of people out there, a lot of believers that aren't doing it in love because they're just going for right. the charge. 
You know what I mean? They're going for right. the charge. And well, I mean, the Bible says that these people are going to go to hell. Why can't I tell them? Because we have to deal with them in love. Right. <laughs> it's the cool. same thing about the Pharisees. Like what Jesus was saying to the Pharisees, he said, uh -huh. You shut up heaven and you yourself is not entering. <laughs> it's like mm. it's like you gotta tell people that because you <laughs> want to prevent them from yeah. going there. So right. the, you know what I'm saying? Like not because you're like you gonna go to hell, sinner. I've seen people on the right. street corner. Oh, sinner, God. you're going to hell, sinner. Like that's horrible, bro. Like if we yeah. understood how bad hell really was, we would change our tune and trying to smack people upside the head with it. And, and, and because I always say this God is is much greater than how bad hell is or how bad mm. the devil is the yeah. goodness of god is greater than the wickedness of the enemy and so yeah. we have to of course talk about these things because you know yeah. the bible says be not ignorant of, of, of the satan's devices so we got to know right. who our enemy is got to be aware but but god the goodness of god it says in his presence is the fullness of joy mm -hmm. like uh, you know what i'm saying and, and like you know god is <laughs> like bro he said uh if you delight yourself in me, I'll give you the desires of your heart. Mm -hmm. right? And he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Um, it is with love and kindness that I've drawn thee. So God yeah. is love more so than God is, 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 is a consuming fire, which that is right. him. Right. But, but the scripture clearly says God is love. And, mm -hmm. and so uh, we got to lead with love. And, but the scripture also says love tells the truth. First Corinthians right. chapter 13, it says it doesn't rejoice in evil. It's not puffed up. It holds no right. record of wrongs. No record but of it tells yeah. the truth. Period. Point blank. Most definitely. Most definitely. And and you know, my my hope and prayer is that folks get it. You know what I mean? Because there's there's so many people out there that that really need to hear a better word than uh, a word through a megaphone and an angry face. Mm. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Come on, because um, I mean, th think of how people receive it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. nobody wants to receive any kind of word like that. You know, uh, I mean, even <laughs> right. even if even if, you, even if you're telling them that they won the lottery, you know, you tell them to won the lot that they won the lottery, and you're right. all angry about it. Like, who's gonna want to receive that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they yeah, will nah, eventually, <laughs> but it's still it's there still was only one, one person where, that had that job. Uh, <laughs> my bad. It was John no, the Baptist, right. a voice crying in the yeah. wilderness, man. That, mm. He was able to do that because that was his one calling because he was making right. a path straight for Jesus, man. So, right. But other right. than that, if you sitting there yelling at me, mm -hmm. you're going to hell, sinner. Right. <laughs> like, right. That <laughs> man, that's a hard ER. <laughs> <laughs> I seen the dude on YouTube doing no, that, and it's bro. funny oh, because, it, yeah, bro, and uh, it's funny because it was some dudes, bro. It was like some actual, like some other people of God out yeah. there witnessing. I think that they were like talking to him about that. Like, bro, you got to stop doing this. And he was like all in their face being crazy, wow. like being extra. And some dudes end up putting hands on him, some worldly dudes. <laughs> so, so, wow. You know, God used a swift judgment like, hey, get out of here, dude. You, you, right? You're hurting more than you're helping. Yeah. And that's the thing. I would hate for anything that I do or say to hurt more than it helps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and that's one of the things that I, I would love for non-believers to, to understand that, you know, yeah, okay, there's people out there like those, you know, megaphone people, like, like people that get angry and this, that, and the other. But at the same time, there there's still a lot of people that actually care. There's still a lot of people that right. want to talk to you uh, uh, in in the manner that they want to be talked to. You know what I'm saying? I want to be right. I want to be be approached with respect and love. I want somebody to tell me in a loving manner, listen, you you're doing something wrong and I right. know what can help you. You know what I'm saying? Hearing right. those words from somebody, I I know what can help you. You know what I'm saying? Amen. That has to be hey, real quick. Real real big. Go ahead. Speaking of help, man, real quick. What you talk about is good. Mm -hmm. But I want to do something real quick. Put your cash tag in the comment section. Amen. I'm finna send somebody. I ain't got a bunch of bread now. <laughs> but you know, you can fill up, you know, get you a get you a half a tank of gas. I'm gonna cash up somebody $25. Amen. Just put your cash tag in the comment section. And if you haven't shared this, please share it. Uh, if you haven't tuned in to the project, man, it's on every streaming platform. If you don't, or if you're not subscribed to a streaming platform, 
you can get the album. You can stream it on Bandcamp. You just gotta sign up for Bandcamp. Follow me. I'm gonna be putting. Uh, I'm gonna be putting. Um, I'm gonna be putting. Um, freestyles, exclusive stuff that's only gonna be on 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 Bandcamp. So, you can follow me on Bandcamp as well. But if you put your cash tag in the comment section, I'm about to send somebody twenty five dollars. Amen. 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 All right, so I'm gonna send you my cash tag in a messenger. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Man, and hey, if don't that, nobody, if don't nobody put no cash tag, then I'm gonna send it to you. Then I see one. I see one. I see one. I like they do in the services. Is delayed. there one? Yes. Right. And for Instead everyone, of us passing around the collection right. plate to receive, I'm going to pass there around the collection plate that you can put your hand in it and pull Man. it out. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Be a blessing. And, and that's that's the thing. You know, one of the things that I love about uh, uh, being blessed is being in the position to bless. And it doesn't matter, right? Me too, love, huh? Right? Um, and it doesn't matter um, what form it is. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, however way that you can help out, and also too, anyone else that's on that's on here watching right now, if, if there's a way that you can help someone else, do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Don't don't look for and and this is the thing. You know, a lot of people look for you know, hey, check me out. I'm helping someone else. You know, obviously you're doing it for the wrong reasons, but um, right. You don't have to even like make a big big deal about it. You know what I mean? Just just do what comes naturally in your heart and your spirit you know what i'm saying uh donnell Amen. actually said that's why i always buy your album bro you are the most giving artist i know and man i am right, yeah, right there with you donnell i am right there with you indeed any indeed. other cash ups in there because i can't i can't see the comments i don't know if oh you can't see them let me see let me get on my phone and look now see that's another thing to talk to Facebook about. Why can't you see it? There we go. Um, yeah, this is crazy. Got Donnell Ashley oh, that uh, posted and Freedom Epiphany posted. $25. I never seen yeah. people so hesitant to receive $25. You know what I'm saying? We got we got 12 people on here and got two people. You know why? Because they they tuned in and then they they muted it and then they start put they start uh, playing the game. You feel me? Right? It's like nah. it's all good. All right, I'm about to send it to uh Freedom. Amen. Amen. <laughs> my wife said join my live tonight support my business plug <laughs> no need to be sorry baby As a matter of fact Amen. Uh, i'm gonna let it be known right now while we got a minute um so those of you that are on here right now if you like jewelry if you know uh somebody who uh loves jewelry too you know what i'm saying and you want to give something to your mom even though it's uh, uh even though mother's day is tomorrow hey why not do it afterwards too better late than never right do me a favor and go to facebook.com forward slash bling things. I'm going to put that in the, uh, in the comments right now. Forward slash bling things tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. My wife is going live with her jewelry and you could just shop right there and she'll let you know exactly what you need to do. You can follow her, all that good stuff. Facebook.com slash blingy things. Amen. Lingy team, yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah, and you know, one of the um, things that I love about yeah. about what's going on, like you know, twenty twenty, like brought a, about a whole bunch of people who were like, "Dang, what am I gonna do next?" And all of a sudden, their entrepreneurial right. spirit kicked in. <clears throat> right, you know what I'm saying? Forced us to get like that. Sure did because you know we know that there's still a lot of people out there that you know have to go to work or they they you know what are they called um shoot I'm I'm losing the uh, the word but um, essential right and right. that that essential type of business has you know has gone from like a a, a minimal amount of of uh, um, 
of people to a great amount of people, you know what I mean, as far as that goes. So, you know, there's people out there that are still working, they're still earning a wage, but there's a lot of people that aren't, you know what I'm saying? So um, thank God that me and my wife have been blessed in, in certain areas to, to not really have a need in that sense, you know what I mean? But the entrepreneurial spirit kicked in for her as well as, as it did for a lot of people. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm real appreciative of people following that desire because it did light a fire under, under a lot of people. And it's so good to see that, you know what I mean? You see different people, you know, uh, who, who go online and they're like, you know what, I'm finally going to start my business. You know, why not? Right. I got nothing to lose. I'm home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's all they needed. They needed right. a moment to be home and they needed a moment to, to wind down away from what they were doing. And, you know, the whole nine to five rigmarole was just like, man, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. And a lot of people are, uh, a lot of people are scared to make that jump. It takes a lot of faith to make that jump. It's people are comfortable with, you know what I'm saying? The consistent paycheck every week. Yeah. You know where it's coming from. Um, right. You got to kind of have faith in God and faith in <clears throat> the, the ability God gave you to even have a, to even want to take that quote unquote, I guess, risk to start your own yeah. business and lead a job. Right. Um, right. Oh, man. You know no I mean? kidding. But pandemic forced you, forced a lot of people in there and they realized, wait a second, I can do this. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, before we go any further, I want to get into one more, one more song, man. Um, man, why you got to make it so hard, dude? Why you got to make it so difficult to choose? <laughs> uh, trust in you. There you, can you do go. a couple more if you, if you want. Most definitely. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Trust in you, man. And, and you know the the name Kalam Montgomery. Hopefully, if if I didn't I didn't butcher your name, but um, I haven't heard of Caleb. him before. Where's it, Kalem? See, man, you know, yeah. but I don't mind correction. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Trust in You, featuring Kalem Montgomery. Montgomery. And uh, where did you find him? Where'd you link up with him from? Uh, he's from Columbus, actually. Um, oh, it's yeah? crazy because I I met him. Uh, there's this artist that's like. He was kind of popular. I don't know if he's still doing it, but his name is Sean C. Johnson. I don't know if you know him. Yeah. He's dope. Yeah, he um he had a concert at uh, my wife's cousin's church. She's a uh, the first lady at this church, and we went to the concert. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, and so when I got there, I was late. So when I got there, or I thought I was late, but I got there, and Kalen was one of the artists that was opening it up. But I oh, thought okay. he was Sean Johnson because <laughs> oh, I didn't know okay. either one of gotcha. them. Oh, okay. So I, I'm posting him on IG like, hey, this this Sean Johnson dude is fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to find out that's not Sean Johnson. That's Caleb Montgomery. <laughs> um, but he's actually, that's bro, funny. he's actually, uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he's actually the one who did um, the video for I'm Back. Uh, oh, record okay. off a song of this uh, TP6. Yeah, TP6. Um, he did that video. Yeah, Tepe Sace, man, and uh, he uh, he dope, man. His music got so much word in it, full of the word, man. Oh, nice. Kalem's, Kalem's uh, music is like just straight word bars. Like he's nice. a he's like a writer for real, man. And uh, so I I wanted to have him on this record. Actually, you know what's crazy with this song? Uh, I actually sent Kalem a different record. It was actually the the song that's on my mixtape that I dropped last uh -huh. year on all the streaming platforms called the thief in the night right. i did that with no promo i just wanted to drop something he mm -hmm. was supposed to be on the second verse on that record and so he ended oh, up right? couldn't get to the studio and stuff like that so he by the time he yeah by the time he got to the studio i had already put the record out and he's like hey i got that verse for you he sent me the verse so what i did was i kept the verse and then i uh i found a beat with the same tempo and I, oh, nice. I, uh, I put his verse on there, same time frame, second verse, and then I added my, I added a whole new hook, a whole new uh -huh. verse, and that's how that song came about. So actually, when Man. he rapped that his verse, he rapped it on a completely different beat. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it it definitely flows yeah. well. Um, I just put his Instagram in there. Everyone that's watching right now, do me a favor and go to Instagram.com forward slash Calum underscore Psalm twenty seven. Uh, go follow him right now as well. He is uh, on this song right now. Trust in you with Saint Jones. 
Yes, sir. Man, this has been man, this has been real dope. I I really uh, am thankful that uh, you hit me up and wanted to do this, man. I was real grateful that you you passed me the uh, uh, the the album. Uh, when you did, because man, I was like, okay, I, I've I already had my my uh, my uh, streaming service set, so I can go ahead and save that. Once you started like putting it, blasting it out, I was like, yes, I can't right. wait for this to come out. I already knew, man. So thank you for the blessing. I really appreciate right. that. Absolutely, man. Make sure you uh, make sure you delete the album now, and every time you listen, let's stream it. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> delete the MP3 version, right? right? Baby. Stream that mug. Yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. Everyone listening right now, stream it. Apple Music, Spotify, everywhere it's at. Um, and he's going to be giving away uh, CDs as well. So I, I believe you said that um, if they wanted the CD to put the word or the letters CD in the comments. Is that correct? Nobody wanted the CD. People don't listen to CDs. No I saw And I get that yeah, all the right. time. Like, man, CDs right. is old. I thought I saw someone. Let me see. Let me go like back real quick. I saw somebody who yeah, said CD. Uh, Logic Roberts. Oh, I got you, Logic. I'm about to send you TP5, yeah. 6, and 7. Nice. Look at that. And a shirt. Three for three. And, and a, a hat. Oh, and a Logic, hat. you're getting all that, bro. It gets Thank you better. for participating. Thank you for showing love, yeah. bro. Most definitely, man. AJ, I got you too, man. I, I, I've been supposed to send my little brother some shirts. I got you now that you're back in Ohio. I'm going to get your pack together, bro. Amen. Amen. Um, before we go, um, is there anything that any other one that you want to play to let people listen to? Or do you want to just uh, uh, let them let them have at it on the stream? Uh, let's do... Let's do... We could do extra good, number ten, extra man. Good. Let's go out on a, on a, on a yeah. on a, a a good feeling, man. You know what I mean? Yes, 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 indeed. And by the way, for all your projects, are you, you do the you do all the uh, cover art and all that? Uh, not all of them. This one I did. Um, um but. The last one I did myself, I did the Thief in the uh, Thief in the Night, and then also the EP by myself. But the songs, the previous song, this is actually the first one since the Psalms two that I did on my own. Oh, okay. The um, shit, I'm losing which one it is. I think it's the Psalms four where you had the uh, um, the rainbow color coat. Not the rainbow color. Yeah, that's TV4. Uh, yep. TV4, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Multicolor. Um, yeah. Multicolor. I don't know why I keep messing that up. Um, who, who did the uh, art design for that and the pictures and all that? Uh, TP4. Actually, it was a uh, shout out to um, uh, Diedrich. Uh, I think he goes by, he's a rapper too. He goes by uh, uh, Psychonic or something like that. Mm. But his name is, uh, let, me, let, me get, let me get his information properly, man. Cool. Why you do uh, that? Shout out to my bro, Jody Jermaine. Oh, okay. He was on that song. It was actually his homie. Oh, yeah? Who does all of his stuff for him, man. Nice. Um, while you do that, Hugh Hollis said, can you ask Jones on average how long it usually takes him to write a verse? Seems to come easy to him. Oh, man. God is good, bro. Oh, man. On average, when it comes to just like a 16, it's, it's like, it'd be like 10 minutes, man. Like, for the most, like, on average. Uh, sometimes I say, I say, let's say about 15 minutes on average. Uh, because it's like whenever I get inspired, man, I just be going in, bro. Like, I, I just like it's like sometimes it's like not, that's why a lot of my songs, like, you'll hear <laughs> uh, certain records like Co Signer and uh, just different records where it's the, the verse is more than 16 bars because sometimes my hands won't start stop writing man stop typing the lyrics in right because it's so much that uh i feel like the lord is downloading man so uh but anyways it, it was actually uh Diedrich that did my uh he goes by uh uh latin or latin or a casso it's something like it's just l-a-t i'm gonna put it in the, i'm gonna put his ig handle in the 
comments. Oh, okay. He actually awesome. did the. Uh, he actually uh, him and Jody uh, hit me up one day. It was like, man, God put it on my heart to do this video for you for free and do uh, um, a photo shoot. So TP4 and TP5 came from the same photo shoot, and then also it was during the Multicolor Coat uh, music video. Right. Oh, okay, nice, nice. But he dope with the video stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, um, got it. Is that Instagram right there? Yeah, that's his IG. Okay, awesome, awesome. So go ahead and follow him. L a t a n o r i c a s s o. Amen and amen. Yeah, this extra good song. You know, I'm not gonna lie. It, 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 it kind of gave me um, extra good. Kind of gave me those um, same vibes as uh, "Won't He Do It" from uh, Corinne Hawthorne. Oh, word. Yeah, just the just the bounce. It didn't use the same word. Like, yeah. Right, right. Um, not not anything specific. More or less the bounce to it. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, she. Uh, no, it's crazy. I did a, um, I did one of her challenges. They had the won't he do it challenge. It was actually, uh, it was actually, uh, what's his name? Yavez and, um, uh, Akeem Towns, that DJ three and one who did us, uh, uh, they remade the beat. They looped the beat from won't he do it. I did a, I did a, um, I did a remix to it. I put a verse on there and, uh, for the challenge. And she actually posted it on her page. This was some oh, years nice. ago when it first came out. Right, right, right. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites too. Like I said, you made it difficult to, uh, to choose just a few songs, but I'm glad we were able to get through it, give people something else to listen to. If you have not heard this uh, album in its entirety, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. Go ahead and go to your streaming service right now. Make sure that you support it. Make sure that you share uh, St. Jones, uh, the Psalm 7. Oh, we didn't get to the one, one of the most important things. So why is this the last and final of the Psalm series? Oh, man. Uh, I just feel like even with the whole number of completion being seven, like I just feel like the Psalms, like even when you read in the Bible, right? Right. The whole Bible ain't the Psalms. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like True. moving on to another, I think another chapter in my life or even with this music or with the ministry. Right. It's just like moving to another book of the Bible. So it's like, I just felt like the Psalm series I mean, you go up to eight. I mean, <laughs> that's a long time, and I think it's. I, I'm ready to start ex to start doing some conceptual albums. Like I'm ready to really start. I'm about to really take it to a new level with the album. Right? Like, uh, glory to God, man. Lord willing, I'm going to really start putting out some more cohesive bodies of work. Uh, like I'm really want like my next album is gonna be an album album. You know what I'm saying? This is these are albums. It has a mixtape feel to it. Um, but uh, I, I want to do as as God increases, man. I want to do more with it. And I just think the Psalm series is kind of it was kind of me people walking through my growth in the Lord from the time I got saved. Right. Um, and that's why a lot of shout out to Donnell or Johnnell. I can't remember who be saying it. They're twins. Oh, okay. so, <laughs> but uh, Donnell or Johnnell Ashley, they was hitting me up and it was like, uh, like, bro, seeing your growth, even as a man of God and even with the music as you go, like, I just feel like, you know, it's time to move on to something new. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. And like you said, the Psalms is just one book and, and there's a lot that yeah. God has to say through through you. You know what I'm right. saying? And you know, you are more than your testimony, you are more than uh, a minister, you know, you're you're a man who uh, has been after God's heart for a while now and you know, we've seen the, the we've definitely seen the growth as well, you know what I mean? And I, I'm thankful for uh, stumbling on your projects years ago and, and knowing that, you know, 
this is something that's going to be great. You know what I'm saying? So I, I appreciate you. I appreciate uh, everything that uh, that you've done thus far, and I can't wait until you uh, drop another one. Man, praise God, man. I appreciate it. Hey, my bad, Donnell, man. I be having it be a lot going on in my inbox. And, right. and then, then I got two cats that look exactly the same. And, right. and their name on Facebook is the same right. except for one letter. <laughs> also, John L. is spelled the same way. Uh, I think it was Donnell that actually got. Yeah, that's his. Uh, that's his twin, I believe. But Donnell is, I think, actually the one who put John L. onto my onto my music. Yeah, right? so, Donnell been supporting for a while, man. Like that's he's been supporting for a long time, man. So I, I appreciate it. That's dope. That's dope. Well, man, it's definitely been a blessing. I appreciate your time and being on here with me. I appreciate you reaching out to me and and you know, kind of giving me the exclusive. I'm definitely going to be posting this up on the website as well. So everyone that's on here still, or if you're watching the replay and anything like that, do me a favor and go check out the illustlines.com. Also do me a favor and check out and follow on uh, Instagram, the illustlines.com forward slash the illustlines. Um, you can also uh, follow me. I'm the host, Danny Anthony. My uh, Instagram is I'm underscore D Anthony. And uh, if there's any other links or whatever that you want to put in here, please feel free. And, um, you know, we, we want to make sure that we all support each other. That, that's one of the biggest things that if, if I want to send a message out there for any artists that are out there right now, we want to make sure that we support each other. We want to make sure that we're able to be there for each other in these times where uh, people don't feel like they're being listened to. So, you know, we, we've got... Right definitely people that that you know support us so there, there's more people that may not know other people and we want to make sure that they are made aware of these other artists that are great on their own you know what i'm saying so um do me a favor anyone that's out there go ahead and and send me an email info at the illustlines.com i'm going to put that in there um as well as um the instagram anything else that you want to say to your uh followers out there man Man, nah, man, just man, God is good. Uh, man, every time you hear my record, if 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 you don't think about God first, then I'm doing something wrong. So let me know. Um, if it don't make you want to tighten your walk up with the Lord, then I'm not doing my job, and I need to shut up. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> right, let me right. know. I appreciate everybody always supporting. Um, and just keep fighting a good fight of faith, man. Don't give up, man. Like, just keep fighting. Keep being honest with the Lord. Don't uh, justify any type of struggle you're going through. Uh, we're all going to struggle. His grace is sufficient for those who truly humble themselves to submit it to the Lord. And, and if we, if we, um, if we confess, He's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness, man. And, He's a loving God. We can approach the throne of grace boldly, man. So I always, even in my music, my, my message is always transparent, man. Like, be transparent with the Lord. Uh, you don't have to be transparent with everybody, but be transparent with the Lord. And if you got spiritual people in your corner, mature people, the scripture even tells us, like, uh, ye who are spiritual, if you see a brother who is overtaken in the fall, you who is spiritual, uh, restore such a brother in the spirit of meekness, not in the yes. spirit of judging them, looking right. down on them. Right. But you got to remember where God brought you from, too. too. So, um, you know, I know a lot of times when we get saved, like I know when I got saved and I finally I started walking straight, I'm like, man, y'all going to hell, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? You get, <laughs> you get the boldness of Christ and you just, you right. just zealous and then, boom, you fall back into your sins. And it's like, hold up. Mm -hmm. You got to offer up the same right. grace that God offers you. And he's, exactly. he's grateful, man. He's not just sitting up there waiting for you to fall. He's not sitting up in heaven. Right. Like, look, look, you messed up again. See, you're going to hell. Right. No, God is his grace is sufficient, but he's also not a God that's going to tolerate habitual sin uh without the uh without progressing towards getting delivered, man. So receive that and graft the word which is able to save your soul. Uh outwardly we yes. waste away. Inwardly we are being renewed day by day. If God delivered me, he can deliver you. If you want to check out any of the clothing, man, go to sign to god.com S I G N E D T O G O D uh dot com uh for we got hoodies shirts uh we'll have hats up there here soon that hat is exclusive that's not even up so shout out to logic for getting that shout out to freedom man i appreciate you always yeah. participating little bro uh, aj i got a pack coming for you my bro hugh holla i got some more gear coming for you too bro uh uh daniel i got some gear coming for you too man thank y'all for man. participating thank y'all for support man it's encouraging 
to see people actually comment, to see people actually partake in what we're doing. And uh, it's encouraging in the body of Christ when you're trying to do a work and you're trying to battle against the enemy and the yeah. stuff he likes to speak to us. And it's good to know that stuff isn't done in vain, man. But don't get caught right. up in numbers. Right. Don't get caught up in the audience. Just make sure you know that it is is what what he wants you to do and everything else to take care of. Amen. 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 Oh, you know what? I got to tell you real quick. It's all good. So am I. (laughs) I got to tell you that um, when we had our interview, one of the things about you that stuck out to me was pretty much what you just said in regards to going to God about it. You know what I mean? It it really made me, it really shined a light on the things that I was not doing before I did anything, before I did any kind of, you know, program or, 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 you know what I'm saying? Whatever it was, there there was definitely, you know, something that I knew I was missing. And I remember telling my wife about it and I was like, you know what, I feel like this has actually become, and I think this is probably the, the moment that I realized that this platform was also for me. You know what I'm saying? For me to get some mm-hmm. kind of wisdom from other people. You know what I mean? Because, you know, we miss Amen. out on that a lot. Absolutely. You know, we miss out on that when, when we have moments where we don't talk to people and whatnot. But this kind of forces you to talk to people. You're on the same playing field. You do the same thing. you got the same love for music. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, man, shoot, did he just say a word for me? You know what I'm saying? So right. appreciate that 100%. Man, God is good, bro. Like, man, man thank y'all. Most definitely. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. I'm grateful, yes. man. Like, y'all showing so much love, man. man. If anybody is in the New York area or is going to be somewhere in that New York area, man, I'm going to be me, my bro Orlandis, brother John, uh, and uh, we're going to be shooting a video for a DJ uh, yeah. in NY City Saturday, May 22nd. If you're in the area, if you in New York, you're from New York, or if you happen to see this on a replay and you in New York, let me know, man. I want to. I want to go to church on Sunday morning when I get to New York City. Um, man, I want to fellowship. I really want to start connecting with brothers and sisters even outside of my own city, man. The yeah. Scripture tells us the prophet has no honor in his own hometown, so I need right. my brothers outside of Columbus, man. Columbus don't show yeah. me love. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> it's funny because I feel the same way about California and now Florida. I'm like, shoot. Like, where's everybody at? But, you know, they're there. They're there. They listen. They watch. You know what I mean? And they support me whenever, whatever kind of way that they can. You know what I mean? But um, definitely want to let people know right. that, uh, you know, we, we are definitely here for uh, for upcoming artists, indie artists, any kind of artists out there that, that are doing anything for God, for the glory of God, um, which was another thing that it just, this, this thing kind of inadvertently became and switched, I should say, from all genres to just the focus because you know honestly this is this is why we do it we do it for the glory of god and we just want to make sure that he right. gets every ounce of glory that he deserves so you know we in it to win it with everyone else um freedom epiphany yes sir i do and i i, I appreciate you asking that question um you can uh, follow the links on there as well uh but make sure that you all support saint jones right now um anyone else need uh, uh need any kind of uh, anything any kind of uh, support you need a word you need a uh, um, uh, anything prayer anything like that reach out to each and every one of us if you have no one else that you can reach out to yeah um, are you only chh no we're not only chh um we do um you know gospel as well um and i don't mind uh hearing out and actually interviewing people that um, are doing genres outside of those things um as long as it's 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 nice. <laughs> as long as it's not derogatory. As long as it's not you know. As long as it's something that I can show my kids. How about that? You know. <laughs> right. If I can't right. show my kids and I got to turn it down <laughs> to certain parts, then uh, I don't know. Um, yeah. But yeah, to answer yeah. your question, no, it's not just the HHS, uh, you know. But uh, but yeah, most definitely appreciate you guys' support. I myself, I do I do gospel yeah, man. and soul, so. Praise God, man. Hey, also, man. for the S2G stuff, man, I'm looking for some behind-the-scenes people, man, like people that can that want to get on social media to, to, yes. to promote, like, music, promote uh, the clothing. We're actually getting ready to start doing, a, a um, like, a weekly Zoom Bible study type of deal. I'm working out nice. the kinks on that. Um, like, we're just going to be a brotherhood, man. Like I said, it's, sign, it's literally sign to God. Like, my bro Hugh Holla, he ain't under no contract. You know what I'm saying? He just S2G. 
Yeah. And my daughter yeah. was in here. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> she came up here like oh, daddy been going right. a little too long. Right. Say hi. <laughs> this is Constance, my my middle hey, child. Soon to be, uh, soon to be a, 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 another. Big... Does he has cookies? Is what she asks. Oh. No, little chubby chub. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> right, go, down a minute. Good. Oh. <laughs> but yeah man uh we looking for like just people to help out in any way shape or form is that gabby crying yeah it's about time oh, it's about that time to wrap up about that time need some cookies <laughs> but yeah we need help man we need help with people like just doing stuff man like i want to start i want to start adding um uh for sure down there i'm gonna let you know man uncle aj said hi y'all uh i want to uh start like putting the music on the sign of god page i want nice. looking for people that can help design pay, a page um i want to set up doing ministry stuff Amen. all over like i really i'm ready to start evangelizing man i'm ready to start traveling Amen. and really doing god's work and we need Amen. brothers strong in the lord brothers if you're new in the lord we'll find a place for you man we'll help <laughs> mm -hmm. insulate each other help each other grow iron sharp yeah. iron so um man shout out to everybody man sign to god that's right you holla yeah um, yeah man that's it man that's cool it. cool we'll let y'all go fact, uh, let me let me know what you need on on the uh, website side and i'll i'll, I'll uh, see what you uh you need help with because uh, i do that too a little bit okay then we're gonna talk about that man uh yeah so it's more so like i just need people that are willing to help add content Gotcha. you know what i'm saying oh okay Where, i got you you know what i mean to, to yeah so like even help promote <laughs> certain things post certain things where i may not have time to do it and stuff like right, that so, right oh, and okay. even yeah. um on our our s2 our s2g social media stuff and, mm -hmm. and then like administrative stuff like i'm just ready to start growing this dang on thing man yeah you know? man. definitely definitely well, everybody, I appreciate you all being on here. Uh, thank you for sharing. Thank you for following. Thank you for doing what you do. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for, you know, checking out the Illus Lines live listen with St. Jones. Uh, we had a blast, and I, I hope we'll be able to do this again, um, even for other people. It's open. Uh, St. Jones, man, much appreciated. I have much love. I appreciate everything that you do. Salute to you and the family, man. Yeah, salute, my brother. I'm yes, sorry, sir. I got caught up looking at the. Uh, the <laughs> I know, way yeah, right too. But yeah, uh, <laughs> man, salute to you, bro. I appreciate you, man. I like the illest lines. I like your presentation. I like your consistency Amen. with it. Um, and then, then you're just somebody who gets it. Like you, you support me. You encourage me. Um, and so I just felt like Amen. I want to do this with you. I like I like doing it with people that I, I got a little bit of a rapport with. I'm comfortable with. Yeah. I'm willing to go outside the box, but. Yeah, for this, right. I wanted to kind of, you know what I mean, help bring some attention to Endless Lines as well. And Appreciate you got that. some dope interviews like that. Uh, like my bro, uh, Hugh Holler was talking about William Cater. You mentioned him. He is so fire, bro. Man, he's, right. he's from New York, matter of fact. Yeah. But I watched your yeah. interview with him, bro. That thing was so dope. Like, and you really do your yeah. homework on people. You really know their music. And it's I dope, try. man. It's I just try. really dope to watch. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Yeah, he, he was one man. I actually had a lot of work to do with his because we were on the line about maybe two hours, man. And that, that, that to me was cool because that's why I said, you know, like for me, I feel like there's a lot that I get out of it. And some things I feel like, yeah, right. that was just for me. So I'm, I'm going to keep that, right. you know what I mean? Because it's, it's sometimes it's right. just a lot. And it's a good blessing. So, yeah, much, much appreciated on that. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right, yeah, everybody. Bro, thank you so much for bro. tuning in. Appreciate it. Appreciate yes, sir. it. Uh, make sure you go get the God Psalm 7. Bro. Much love. Yeah, we are everywhere. It's on every platform. If you need hard copies of the CD, inbox me. Uh, Logic, Freedom, Shirts, Hats. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, Daniel, I'm going to send you another shirt and your wife a shirt, too. Uh, awesome. Inbox me your wife's uh, size and all that stuff after we really done. Do. Uh, man, I love y'all, man. Peace. Right, Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah, I'm not gonna have to do it. <laughs> Much love and peace from the Illus Nines.